Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about start to finish knee stretch. And this is a little series that we're doing in the Pilates Show about the importance of the starting position. So today, of course, we're using the reformer for knee stretch. We have some knee pads, and we're going to look at what the starting position for knee stretch is to create a successful movement. So we, know, we all know this exercise, it's a classical exercise. You have your feet folded against the shoulder blocks, uh, knees down onto the carriage. And here, we'll do a flat back knee stretch. So you want the heels of the hands reaching into the bar. And a lot of people can cheat on this. <laughs> so the starting position can look more like, like something like this, where they're just hanging into their connective tissue. So what you want to try to instill in your client is that even in the starting position, it's a working starting position. So maybe it even helps them to press the carriage out a little bit so they have a little preload on the spring. And here in the beginning, you're cueing your client into the feeling of a tensegrity system. So they feel their sternum reaching away from their tail. They feel the lower arm drawing into the bar, but the upper arm being drawn in or injected into the, the arm socket the collarbone widening, the front of the pelvis widening, the back of the pelvis widening, so that they have this feeling of readiness in the body. So they're already working to a certain percentage. And then they have all of this length and stability in their spine and their pelvis that they can move their legs really freely under them, sliding out and back in, and all the while they're really paying attention to all those little details of where they start to lose it in the trajectory of their knees swinging back and in. And that's really the work. And always coming back to that starting working position without hanging into the connective tissue. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.